rise and shine. Time to start pushing the rock. 17 December here. This will be our last week of trading at Privateer for 2019. We got we got some stuff going on here still. So let's not check out completely. We got the Fed on the 19th, BOJ on the 20th, we got Rick's Bank on the 20th, and the Bank of England on the 20th. All of these uh, are important, but uh, obviously the greatest importance will be the Fed. Uh, we need to see what the tone is, and you know now the market is priced in. Not three hikes uh, for next year. We're down to less than one hike is priced in in the market. So this is. Uh, this will be very interesting what the tone of the Fed is, and this obviously will move dollar Swiss and euro dollar and dollar yen. I guess, secondly, uh, a lot of people are going to be watching the Rick's Bank. We've had some negative data out of Sweden. The Rick's Bank has signaled a December or Feb hike in October. If they don't go in December, People are going to start to question if they're serious about hikes at all. Uh, so Swedish Corona is going to move. I don't really trade that much Swedish Corona, but just sh throwing that out there for those of you who might. Uh, our focus is going to be Fed, BOJ, and BOE, mainly the Fed. Uh, let's have a look at what's going on here. Uh, again, very light trading overnight 14 point range in euro dollar so far today we're right here at this sort of key pivot this was the beginning of the sort of momentum from friday i guess you could say 23 was the beginning uh, i mean 33 was the beginning are we going to squeeze up to 30 take out some stops Yes, probably, likely. Uh, looking for a range day today. This was a combination of longs getting taken out, this move on Friday, but also there'll be a few shorts who hit the bid who are looking for a range break, which we did not get. This now is a massively important 112.70. Uh, this looks like a break trade for the Fed if he's hawkish. This coincides nicely for 90, uh, 10010 in dollar Swiss. These two levels are now must trades. 112.70 and 10010 if we get a hawkish bias uh, from the Fed. Elsewhere, we have equities sort of sort of a retrace here we did dip below the figure at the open there 2595 but now we've bullish engulfed on the four hourly chart uh, I, I wouldn't say it's super meaningful I would just say that we're going to get a little bit of a squeeze this kind of reminds me of just sort of what we're predicting in euro dollar today is a slight squeeze higher on a rangey type action this thing is going to move massively as well uh, when we see whether the fed is hawkish or dovish you could argue though that if the fed is hawkish this is bad for stocks and if they're dovish this is also going to be bad for stocks because then the outlook, uh, the outlook going forward is weaker. So it's hard for me to acknowledge or understand how stocks are going to cruise higher. We're not hitting bids down here at 2613. Again, we'll be selling high ones this week, uh, so we'll strategically be looking to sell high ones in stocks. Let's look at cable or. Actually, let's not look at cable, but let's look at it anyway. BOE this week, 
uh, tone should be worried to negative. They're obviously not going to do anything with this whole Brexit car crash still happening. Um, hard to see how cable can cruise higher. Uh, still looks very murky out there in Sterling land. Quickly, let's talk about dollars R, which is holding up here. This looks like it wants to go higher. Uh, this is reacting to the risk. Uh, Western risk off. Uh, of course, we're just we're one piece of bad news away out of South Africa for this really to get ahead of steam and you know go 100 big figures higher. We're bearish as R still. Uh, you can pick some up today probably between 27 and 33 for the eventual break of this 50 level 1448 uh, still in recession still of questionable leadership um, what can we say we're, we're not too positive on czar and the same is going to apply year-end uh, dollar turkey as well the same type of problems and now we're we're looking at this 545 area which is basically the same type of trade as uh, 1448 in Tsar you got some leadership problems in Turkey you got massive inflation um, we're bearish just this scenario in both of these countries right now and we think uh, these are two key points and it could be Fed driven right if rates go higher in the US uh, this could be driving this but let's keep an eye out on uh, both of these levels 545.60 in dollar Turkey and 1448 in, in, in dollar Rand. dollar yen very boring. Uh, I'm not really sure what to do with this, so we're not going to do anything with it. You could easily draw this line here uh, from these highs. And you have this is sort of a bigger picture wedge here. Uh, obviously, we're not close to either side of it, so I don't really know what to do with it. And so, therefore, we're not doing anything with it. Quickly into CAD, Kiwi, and Aussie. Not really too sure. Oil's down at uh, 5120. It's having a hard time going up. This could give you some directional bias in dollar CAD. Somehow it looks like it's just wants to turn over. And maybe we should just be thinking. We want to sell up near 135 and buy near 132.50. One, um, I don't know. I'm not too sure on this. Aussie, we're bearish. Uh, bad news out of China. Bad news out of the global risk. Uh, we've had some squeezes now, so the positioning should be a little bit lighter. Uh, this is just this is a sell and rally. Uh, Aussie did not get any acceleration through 7166 but eventually we see this testing the uh, 70 handle again maybe for year end um, that looks in play alright so that's what we got today uh, we are just kind of sitting and waiting thinking about the Fed looking for a little bit of a squeeze in Euro today and looking to get into a good price, a nicely priced position in uh, dollar emerging markets. Good luck out there, people. I will talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.